Hello and welcome to the More Baseball 3-0 Take, where we share our thoughts and opinions on just about anything baseball. There is no topic or person that More Baseball isn't willing to tackle. The Major League Baseball first year player draft is on June 9th and will feature the Philadelphia Phillies with the first overall selection. But is the first overall pick really worth it? I mean, I know you get the first overall pick. You get to choose any player on the board. But is it really worth it to have the first pick? Do you go with the high school power arm? Do you go with the high school hitter? Or what about the polished college pitcher? Or the polished college bat? Or the power bat? Who would you take overall if you had the number one pick in this year's Major League Baseball draft? Please let me know. Send me a tweet at more baseball. I want to know who you're going to take in this year's Major League Baseball draft. Do you take AJ Puck, Kyle Lewis, Jason Groom, Riley Pint, Corey Ray, Dakota Hudson, Mickey Moniak, Blake Rutherford? Who are you going to take? You're the Phillies. You're on the clock. Who are you going to take? If you ask me, though, I'm taking Corey Ray from Louisville. The best college bat on the board. That's who I'm taking. I'm going to pass up on the high school arm. I'd even go college arm. A.J. Puck. Riley Pint. He's interesting, but I don't think he's ready. Yeah, of course. Put him on a big league throwing program, teach the kid how to pitch. That's a gamble. That always doesn't work. I don't know. That's just me. I'm taking Corey Ray if I'm the Phillies. You tell me. You're the Phillies. You got the pick. Who are you going to take? Oh, I know. The scouts say, oh, he's prototypical. Oh, he's got the size. Oh, he's got the arm. Oh, he's got the, vlo the velo. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, but it's not always about prototypical stuff. Just because he's not the biggest or the strongest or throws the hardest or he throws 100 but he can't throw a goddamn strike. What's that good to you? How about a guy who's proven himself in college against the big boys, not in high school, giving potential... Looking to develop. What's he got already? How high is his ceiling? Does he have room to grow? What's he going to be like then? What about right now? How good is he right now? Give me your take. Follow me on Twitter. Follow at Baseball Blogs and at MLB Reports.